What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again for another edition of OTR alongside my Tuesday tag team partner, Terminator Tony T. Catchphrase. And today, mofos, we've gone to the Rofo. Why? You'll find out right after this on OTR. You are looking live at Royal Farms Fresh Kitchen and, well, gas station here on Allentown Road in Camp Springs, Maryland, also known by Google as Temple Hills, apparently. Royal Farms, according to Food & Wine magazine, has the best fast food fried chicken out there. Is that true? Can it be? We'll find out right after this on this exciting edition of OTR. All right, let's take a look at what kind of chicken we got today from Royal Farms here in Maryland. We got what was supposed to be a four-piece box. First of all, that box is disintegrating as we speak. But once we look inside, it actually ends up being three pieces. This was, what, $8.29. Uh, I got a leg of breast and a thigh in there. The wing is missing. I actually didn't order the Western fries, I don't think, but they showed up. And they're in there as well. And there is also a dinner roll down in there, too. They make you order biscuits separately, it turns out, and they give you a dinner roll instead. I also got macaroni and cheese as part of my side dishes right there. And look how orange that macaroni and cheese is. And it's not even full. So, so far, it's kind of a mixed experience at Royal Farms. I got something called Atomic Sauce which apparently is just Duke's brand Sriracha. Uh, so thanks for repurposing something that already existed. And oh, then we got Tony's eight piece here, which is not just for him, by the way, it's for him and his roommate. And that was not only $9.99. So it's trans fat free, by the way, that's a good thing. So think about this, my four piece, that's a three piece, was like $8.29, but then again, you get eight pieces for $9.99. That's uh, interesting. Uh, we probably should have studied, studied the pricing a little better before we purchased. But anyway, stuff looks good, smells good, but is it the best fast food chicken? We'll find out right after this on OTR. All right, gang, time to check out what is supposed to be the best fast food fried chicken out there according to Food & Wine magazine. Uh, let's go ahead and pick out our pieces. Choose your poison if you will. You know me, I'm going for that breast because that's what I like. Big old piece here, gonna go ahead and show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Really large, nice big piece there. The, uh, it looks like the breading is not very thick, but it's on there. Let me see if I can't take a big old bite of this. How about you? Wow. Wow! All I gotta say right off the bat is that is one juicy and fat chicken breast, man. That's the... Wow! I mean, they must be talking about, first of all, how much chicken you get, because that is probably the fattest chicken breast I've ever had in my entire life from a fast food type establishment. Um, I don't know if they're like pump full of antibiotics and steroids or what's going on, but it definitely benefits it, I'll tell you that much. It's not as crunchy at all compared to, say, that crispy crunchy we had a few weeks back, but it doesn't need to be because once you get through that thin layer of coating, man, you get hit with a wave of juice. You might want to call it grease, but that might be given it a bad name because it's juicy. And that might compromise the crunch a little bit, but that's okay because the outer coating is nice and buttery and it's tasty too. What do you think? I really liked it a lot. I'm getting my mind blown on a couple occasions here by gas station chicken. This was really good. The, wow. the coating had a lot of flavor. Yeah, it wasn't as crunchy, it wasn't as thick, but it was really, really flavorful. The chicken was moist, juicy, tender, delicious. I don't know if they, they soak it in a brine or something before they they cook it, but it, it, it had so much flavor. And I understand now why people are like, you gotta try the chicken at Royal Farms. Because I've tried the chicken at Royal Farms and I gotta say, I'm hooked. I'm a fan. So what kind of rating are you thinking on the chicken itself? <laughs> Full thumbs up? Full thumbs up, that chicken is good. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, once you get past that crust, the juice explodes into your mouth there on that breast. You had the leg there, did you? I had you? a leg. You had the leg? And uh, did you have the same sort of experience there? Yeah, it was very juicy. Oh, wow. So, as for the chicken flavor itself, man, it's not like some kind of really gross poultry, like overcooked kind of flavor. It's cooked just right. Uh, 
perfectly white all the way through, no discoloration or anything like that. It makes me almost wonder if this is robot chicken, man. Is this like, what, wait, robot chicken? Hey, no, because it's got to be created by somebody else, you know. It's not like natural or something. It's a chicken clone. It's in laboratory. It's got to be. The sun all of a sudden wants to come out and mess with us. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and get to our sides here. Actually, my rating's full thumbs up as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get to our sides. I got the mac and cheese. We also got some of these uh, Western fries, which apparently are fairly famous as well. Looks like they're a batter fried fry. We'll start with that. Go ahead and grab a piece off of that one there. All right. And we're going to try some of this atomic, atomic sauce, a.k.a. Duke's Sriracha. This is fairly messy looking. Not quite a full fry, but let me try it by itself first. I'm going to do the opposite. Whew. That was pretty spicy, but it was more or less a more runny version of sriracha, I think. Yeah. A little it, more water in there. Duke's sriracha is a pale imitation to the real deal sriracha. Uh, it was okay, but it was definitely not the sriracha that I'm used to, which is sriracha. Yeah, and the western fries themselves, although battered, were not crunchy. They were fairly soggy. Mm -hmm. um, almost like they weren't even all the way cooked all the way through because it was a very, like, actual potato, like, texture, like, not quite cooked. Very hard to say if they'd been sitting around for a while and then they just dish them up and throw them into a box. Also, I gotta say that their packaging for their meals, uh, the boxes are very rinky dinky. Uh, they're, they're not up to holding chicken, they're not grease proof enough. Uh, the box is deteriorating over here. I saw slightly smaller boxes that actually had their branding on them that seemed to be a little stronger looking, but not in this case. It just yeah. uh, didn't really hold up to the uh, litmus test there. Right, let me go ahead and try. Uh this mac and cheese, which, as you saw before, is very, very orange, probably been sitting there forever. It's not as uh, goopy and watery as the mac and cheese at the crispy crunchy, but it looks all right. Now, that's a vast improvement over the crispy crunchy stuff that we had a few weeks ago. A nice, smooth, cheesy, creamy uh, mac and cheese, not overdone, very cheddar-y flavored, uh, almost to the point of sharpness, but not quite. I like that a lot. Uh, back to the fries, I'm giving those like a half of a thumb up. I don't really like them that much. I'm going along you with you. Just the, yeah. their, their atomic sauce. I'm giving a thumbs down. <laughs> that, Duke's that Duke Sriracha atomic sauce is just. I'll I'll half thumb up that. It's all right, whatever. But um, this stuff, the macaroni and cheese, three quarter thumbs up. That's really really good. I like that a lot. Overall. Flavor-wise, a pretty good experience at the Royal Farms. Maybe not, you know, in terms of organization and customer service. It turns out that I did get my wing. It's in his bag of chicken. He got nine instead of eight. I got three instead of four. Who cares? Um, other than that, really enjoyed our visit to Royal Farms here on Allentown Road in Camp Springs slash Temple Hills, Maryland. Uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to make a quick comment. Uh, if anybody was wondering, we uh, made the cut on YouTube, so to speak. Uh, we're above the thresholds for all the monetization crap. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for keeping us vital, uh, I guess, in YouTube, even though we don't really make a whole lot. And it really wouldn't have mattered that much to me. It makes me feel good that at least we have enough people that care about us that we are still trucking but you want to check out a few people who aren't quite there who are trying to get there you want to check out jane smith you want to check out at you want to check out tony beal jamie wright you want to check these guys out they're all snacker stars on the sas group on facebook they all have their own channels they're all trying to struggle to get to that threshold before the cutoff which i think is february 20th or something like that so check out their channels subscribe and watch a bunch of their videos and help them get up above that threshold and join us in the uh all the YouTube riches and whatnot. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out that group I just talked about by clicking on the link down below. The top spot is up for grabs this month, ladies and gentlemen. It's closer than it's ever been. The top three are fighting for that number one spot in the SAS Top 10. Join our group and make sure you become one of the top 10 snacker stars in the whole world. Find out how by joining our group. Also, check us out on all the social medias, including Twitter and Instagram, at Brandon Reich SAS. At GDanzik666. When you do that, make sure you use the handy hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way you know what you are eating. You know what you already know what you're eating, but you know what we're eating, and we know what you're eating too. So like, comment, share, subscribe. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Catchphrase. Indeed.